What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump into today's action, I just want to say a huge thanks to Top Fishing Deals for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't checked Top Fishing Deals out, click that link down in the description below. It's an awesome website to find all the best deals online for fishing gear. So reels, rods, line, gloves, life jackets, literally anything that's on clearance on the internet, Top Fishing Deals has it compiled into one place on their website. So go click that link down in the description below. Huge thanks to Top Fishing Deals again for sponsoring this video. Let's get into today's action. Good afternoon, or morning, sorry. It's been a long couple days. So the last two days we've been fishing Leech Lake. I was out with Mark, Mike, and Paul. 16 hours worth of fishing and we caught one walleye. Didn't see any muskies, but today I'm not fishing with those guys. Obviously I'm on a different boat. I'm out here with AJ Wiesner. He's a guide on Lake Vermilion, and I'm fishing with him for the battle, the musky battle that's going on up here in Minnesota. So hopefully going to be able to see some fish today, and we have a half day tomorrow. And who knows, maybe we'll even pull off a win for this thing. What you got? What do you think is going to happen? I told you, I think we're going to catch one today and one tomorrow. All right. Hopefully it's good enough. Let's do it. Might have been a pike. One just came after it though. Do you see it flash? Yeah, <laughs> like nipped. I have the, uh, the front hooks tangled up, but something just small came up and swiped on it. We could work from the 11 foot outside edge, fish it real hard, and then just fish into the seven foot weeds and then right up into the sand. It's the best spot on the lake, so you know those fish are using it either shallow, mid, or deep. They're you know? somewhere there. Yeah, yeah, you know they're in there. Yep. Somewhere in that zone. I didn't look to see what time majors and minors were. I thought one was right away this morning. I think it is. I think we're like just at the end of it or out of it soon. Fish. Oh! Drag is loose. I'm the worst. Sorry. Oh, good, <laughs> I'm so bad. Did it feel pretty solid or it could have been a pipe? Could have been a pipe. We'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was like coming through weeds. I felt it rip out of one and I pop it through the what I think is the next one and then I feel my line starting to go. Set the gun. Many a flavor. Oh, got him. Oh, I think. Small. <laughs> Pike. Yeah, I didn't know it was legal either until I saw their video. I couldn't tell if when that fish ate and I set the hook that I didn't know if it was going to be bigger, like because it, it was running right at the boat. I was like waiting for the weight to pick up, crank it that thing as fast as I could. But no. I'll take a little action though. Got him? Pike! Oh. <laughs> Same one. What a net. Oh, just the players, I okay. guess. <sighs> Look at that. Well trained. Well trained. I don't even have to teach him a trick. That's really cool. I had no idea. Are you working this spinnerbait slow or fa like faster on the surface or? Um, you're doing good just like that, yep. Okay. It has to be slow for sure. Okay. Look at all the bait in there. You see that when I came through the middle? I can just see a bump in every single one. Uh -huh. That is super cool. Dude, it'd be sick to get one like halfway back on your retrieve in the middle of it all. Yep. You almost got a horse them. Oh yeah, yeah, you'd have to pretty much. Yep. This is how I'd be bass fishing. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I look for, depending on if the lake has it, but like, 
the bass will be, I mean, they can be anywhere in that field of reeds, you know? Yep. It could be in the very back, it could be right in the middle. See this cut right here? Yeah. There's a couple pockets right up in there. We almost might want to get up in there. I'm down to try that. That's, that'd be cool. Yeah, you see those pockets up here we could get in? Yeah, they're pretty sick. You want to go get up in there? Let's do it. Or right. not. We're basically flipping like we're bass fishing for muskies. Just like pick a line and hope you can get one to see it. I'm literally flipping this glider like a jig. Fish. Oh, we just you on, on your spinnerbait. Spinner oh my god, that was so sick, dude. I didn't get hooks in them very good. What did you say? They're in here. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. <laughs> dude. Yeah. We can stay in here all day. <laughs> that was so sick. Just put on a bit spinnerbait from uh, Mr. Robbie Jarnigo. Uh, first cast with this thing through these reeds, this little pocket. Muskie came up and smoked it. Oh, that was awesome. This is unlike any kind of muskie fishing I've ever done. Feels like I'm bass fishing. I've never caught a pike in here either. You know you, I mean? They stick on the outsides of it. So I'm convinced that the first one could have been a muskie too. You never know. Yeah. This is the coolest style of musky fishing I think I've ever done. Oh, I got him. Oh. <laughs> no way. That... myself and said I've never seen a pike in here. <laughs> Thinking. That was cool action though. Just imagine if you caught a 50 inch muskie in there. That's what I'm saying. It's got me all hyped up. Hell yeah. What'd you catch that one on? Uh or you want the to keep reed whacker. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> that was so freaking sick. We're way back in some <laughs> reeds. Like this is, I've said it a couple times already, but it feels like I'm in Florida bass fishing and I should be throwing like a topwater frog and flipping. Um, but we're throwing musky baits through this and you guys can see how crazy deep we are in the reeds. I had one swipe on the spinner bait that I put on first cast and AJ's back there throwing a small bucktail, single hook bucktail so it comes through this stuff. The reed whacker as he's calling it. That was insane. I mean it was a pike but there's muskies in here. I can feel it. Time to roll? Okay. All right, the day is continuing. We switched lakes and we're being joined by Jace. Um, he's gonna be fishing with us out here and he has quite a bit of experience fishing this lake. So hopefully we'll be able to find some muskies. Weather's holding out real nice, super cloudy. Looks so fishy. I think we're gonna get something in this bag besides a pike today. Up top. Open or close yeah. more? Uh, well, it's rolling there, so open her up just a little bit. You just want that barely to, you know, hit that. It's like there, it's not going to hit anything. Oh, you want to clack off the top. So, yeah. Okay. And then other times you can kind of like cup these a little bit too. Gotcha. And sometimes it'll be in a real community. Yeah. Sick. 
sick. Oh yeah, yep. I've literally never had a topwater fish. I have no idea what I'm looking for. That's so great. I don't know, it's a conquest Calcutta. Oh my god. I just got throttled. You just got throttled, man. Right where you said it was gonna be. Me? Or no, oh, on his butt. Do you see anything? So my eyes playing tricks on me. No, I don't know. I didn't see nothing. I thought I saw a little little bubble there. <laughs> Maybe it was wind or something. Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> yeah, there's not something. Where? You see him? Yeah, she's, getting, she's on your foot. Oh, 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 Jesus. She probably followed me all the way up to the boat and I yep. never saw her. Yeah. Almost with the alley oop. We have to work like one more day. Because everybody's up here producing more garbage. Oh! <laughs> that was a decent one. Like 32. Was it? Yeah. That's it? What's that? All I saw was the tail. Yeah, like the, the top fin. Thing tried to smash it, eh? Oh, she tried to eat it. Got my heart jumping a little bit. That's what I've seen on gliders, right there. Swings and misses and... Oh! Got her? Oh! Oh. Little, little... Pikey's. Pikey! Thank you, though. You're quick. Crushing the pike Practice. today. <laughs> Practice. See? Silent AJ up here. You know what? Silent AJ. <laughs> Still calling us though. Matt, you're a freaking pile of giant on that spinner bait. Think so? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna keep throwing it. I'm not putting it down. I like your confidence. Oh my god. <laughs> We fished until the tournament ended at 7.30 and about an hour past that into dark. We didn't see any more action, loaded up the boat, headed back to the lodge for some sleep and got back out on the water at 6.30 the next morning. The only fish that was caught yesterday was a 42 incher by Ben Stone and I'm going to play that clip for you guys real quick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got her. Good job. Good job, Ben. Good job, Ben. 42 on the dot. I told you, but I called that. I thought it was smaller, but 42 on the dot. So we made the decision to shoot up shallow here, fish weeds. Everybody's fishing rocks. And that was like third cast top water. She waked up behind it, sped it up, and she pounded it. I feel like I gotta catch a fish on this spinner bait. So we got five hours, four hours, 45 minutes. We got a break, 42 inches. Yep. And anyways, so Alex, oh, sorry, like, I just got hit. You just get smashed? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, look at that boil. Okay. Oh, God. Sorry, dude. I just got smoked right there. What, was it a pike? I think it was a pike. I thought it was too. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I was trying to get my hand in front of my face. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, I never felt weight, dude. Never felt that was weight. Like Forty-two and a half, too. <laughs> I never felt any weight, dude. That was Damn. a forty-two and a half I ever seen man. Fuck! I never felt no weight. Like, I have a lot of spots out here, I fish. Oh. oh. Clack's getting all the love. You want mine? 
He did vermilion last year. Did he? At least for quite a bit of the year. Oh, fuck. I should not have. I should have figured eight. That was a. That was big. Oh, that right was, at the boat. That was good too. <laughs> yeah, that was on YouTube and I had a. Oh. Pike. Pike Master. work long term for me. They're super fun short. Oh, oh wow. How big is that? It looked big. Yeah. Need something louder. Anything top water louder than this bigger bait. Maybe if they swipe on this we'll snag them with some hooks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. his body is. Oh, oh. Just followed it like all the way to the boat and I didn't figure it. Didn't look very big. Terrible. Last cast? Can it happen? Catch a fish, bag it, put it on the bump board, get a picture. 55 seconds. No! So Ben, Corey, and Jordan won the muskie battle for 2020 with a 42-inch muskie. It was a really tough weekend, a really kind of like rough four days of fishing, but I do feel like everyone kind of had shots at fish on Saturday and Sunday, and it was a great time. I mean, I had so much fun fishing with AJ and Jace. I learned a lot, and that's actually Jace's home lake, so seeing him run and gun around the lake put us on spots and kind of use time management to be in the right place at the right time. He definitely put us on fish. We were getting the bites, we just couldn't get them to connect. We threw a lot of buzz baits, we threw other topwaters, gliders, and bucktails around the reeds. That seemed to be our best bet, but unfortunately couldn't get anything in the bag. That's just the way musky fishing goes sometimes, but it makes it very much worth it when you finally do catch one and get it in the bag. That's why I do it. But uh, one more thing, if you guys are interested in fishing with AJ, he is a guide up on Lake Vermilion, so I'm gonna leave a link for him down in the description below. There's actually gonna be like a thousand links down there because I wanna share everyone's YouTube channel as well. So everyone that was a part of the musky battle, I'll leave their name and channel down in the description. So if you guys wanna check them out for some more musky content, they will be in the description. We hung out at the lodge after we got back, said our goodbyes, and Mike, Paul, Mark, and myself headed back to Detroit. We drove through the night, got to Mike's place and I ended up just sending it straight back home. I stopped for like a little two hour nap, but it, overall it almost took me like 30 hours to get home from Minnesota. But even though the fishing wasn't that great this weekend, I would do that trip over again in a heartbeat. It was so much fun. Huge thanks to Jeff from Just Keep Casting for putting the musky battle on, Northland Lodge for hosting it for us and letting us stay there in the cabins. It was such an awesome time. Well, I'm back home now. So I've got a bunch of content coming your guys' way over the next month. Like in one month from now, we've got some kayak fishing going on. We have John Boat tournaments. We have the John Boat Classic. We have a musky tournament. We have a couple days fishing down in Southwest Virginia with our buddy Sam from Blue Ridge Musky and a swim bait only tournament. So quite a bit coming your guys' way. I'm gonna be super busy. I can't wait to fish over the next month. Things should be really picking up here for bass and for musky. So. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you can follow along. We'll see you guys on the next one.